National honors for a group of female STEM students on Long Island who've been studying mosquitoes. They're answering questions about climate change and mosquito migration and the link between disease and diet. As CBS News' Jennifer McLogan reports, they say they feel like rock stars. <laughs> We got published, and <laughs> look where we are now. Floating on air in the pride of Cold Spring Harbor, brilliant science minds of four female students collaborating on the lowly but deadly mosquito. Mosquitoes are tiny but so dangerous. And the prestigious National Institutes of Health Information database was listening, publishing their research sequencing of mosquito DNA. We took the DNA from the legs of the mosquitoes and we like isolated it, amplified it, and purified it. There are 176 species of mosquitoes in North America. We were basically finding the species of the mosquitoes, but also the species of the blood in their stomach. So we actually barcoded human DNA that we found in the stomachs of the mosquitoes. Human DNA as well as cows, pigs, and dogs. Mosquitoes can carry diseases in cephalitis. West Nile, malaria, dengue, yellow fever. Could they be bringing diseases that we're vulnerable to? And it was it was a major concern of ours. Climate change creating new mosquito habitats. Samples were found here from the South and Midwest. A pretty big threat in the future because as the climate changes, mosquitoes are going to start to migrate to places they didn't live in. The girls spent a year with mentors at the nearby Cold Spring Harbor Labs. To have uh, the Cold Spring Harbor Lab right here and that partnership uh, makes it even better. The teens hope their research will help encourage female students to pursue topics they're interested in, which potentially could have a big impact on the world. I think it's just so important that women are starting to come into the STEM field. One never knows how much a small study can grow into something significant. The science is full of stories like that. Inspiring a school, each other, and their futures. I'm kind of torn right now between being a vet or being a doctor, because I just really, really want to help the world. Already made Making a real difference. From Cold Spring Harbor, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. She could be whatever she wants. You could just tell. She's that smart. Their mosquito research was presented at the Barcode Long Island Symposium at Cold Spring Harbor Lab, where STEM students from across Long Island discuss their science projects. Science projects, we make it sound like some of the little kids are doing. I this know, is serious right? stuff. Yeah, much more involved than our science projects, yeah, I, right? Please. Even my biology class. Wow, that was, <laughs> these kids are brilliant. They really yeah. are. Good Bright luck to them. Bright futures ahead. Mm -hmm.